what's going on, everyone? It's your boy Ron back with DFS Greatness. Let's get to it, man. Hopefully, everybody having a good holiday. And um, let's get to it, man. We got a lovely two game slate for this Monday, September the seventh, man. Um, hopefully, everybody did pretty good last night. The lineup I gave you guys line last night was like it dropped at three twenty four, so it was a decent lineup. Big ups to LeBron. He came through clutch. And also Rondo, I told you guys go get Rondo. He was a good play, pretty cheap. And um, yeah, man, let's get to it. At the point guard position, I'm gonna give you my favorite plays. You got Cal Larry sitting at 9200. Um, Cal Larry right now, man, has been on a tear. Um, he don't want to lose. Um, last three games, 53, 53, 46. He got a 25% usage rate. Um, he's averaging 39. Fantasy points right now, and he's a thousand dollars cheap on DraftKings. He's going to go to the direction on DraftKings, but he needs 45 fantasy points. It's five times value. If in in other words, if you ever like try to figure out like how what's five times value, you know just all you do is like 9200 times by five. That's all you got to do. I know some people's curious about it. I'm just here to give you guys help and pointers. Um, and also another point guard I like, um, Jamal Murray. Sitting at 8,500. Um, he's averaging just around 32 fantasy points a game. Jamal Murray, man, he played pretty good last game. Dropped 46. He came back to the old Jamal Murray. He's four draws more on DraftKings. At the 85 price tag, he just need around 39 fantasy points to 4.6 times value. Um, going against the Clippers, man. Um, they played pretty good last game. And they're, they're playing with heart. They're not going to give up. They're going to keep fighting. And um, also... At 8,300, you got Kimball Walker. He had a pretty uh, mediocre game last game. He's $300 cheap on DraftKings. On um, last three games, he's averaging 34 fantasy points and going against Toronto, 27% usage rate. Um, I definitely like the matchup. Another point guard I re recommend you guys throwing your lineup at 5,100. You always got Lou Williams, man. He's $700 more on DraftKings, so I definitely will play him on FanDuel compared to DraftKings. Um, 5100 need around 26 fantasy points to five times value. Um, last game he dropped a 30 piece. You know, Lou Williams is um he plays starting minutes and he's also point dependent. You know, he's more of a scorer. And um also you got if you want the cheapest guys, I would recommend you to go get. You can look at Patrick Beverly. He didn't really didn't do much. He's won 1,100 cheaper on DraftKings. So if you're gonna go get Patrick Beverly, I wouldn't recommend playing him on FanDuel, but play him on DraftKings is more cheaper. And um, if I did go in and buy a recommend, always look at Monty Morris, seven hundred dollars cheaper on FanDuel. I mean on DraftKings, uh, he play around seventeen to twenty minutes a game. And that's about it, man. Point goal wise, I'm gonna recommend you. Nobody else. But the guys I'm locking in, Cal Larry. I'm definitely like Kimball Walker. Kimball's a guy have one bad game but bounce back on a good game. At the shooting guard position. Um, you got Fred Van Fleet sitting at 7,900. He's a thousand. He's a hundred dollars cheap on DraftKings. Fleet's been um playing pretty good. He's averaging just around 36 fantasy points a game. In this series right now, he's averaging 36 fantasy points. Um, he need around 37 fantasy points tomorrow. That's 4.7 times value. He got a 22% usage rate. Um, and also he's playing 40 minutes a game. Him, Van Fleet, Siakam. Nick Nurse, the coach, he know they got to win, so he's playing the starters, heavy minutes. He don't care about if they tied or not. If they don't play the starters, they're going to get beat. So, you know, going to play this guy plenty of minutes. Um, the price tag is 7900 I don't feel like it's a bad price tag because I'm looking for guys that's going to be playing a lot of minutes and um, also in the game a lot and have more opportunity to score. And you got um, Pitiful P, Paul George. He's five hundred dollars more on FanDuel. I mean, on DraftKings, last game he dropped 50, um, 44 fantasy points. Need just around 38 fantasy points tomorrow, and that's on um, five times value. If you want to go back that direction with him, going to, um, against Denver this season, he's averaging just around 41 fantasy points a game with a 30% um, usage rate. Um, I definitely feel like um, Paul George will have a good game. Um, this is a must win. They don't, they don't, they don't want to be um, two to one against, against Denver. So I definitely see Paul George having a better game. And after that, the shooting guards, you got Marcus Smart, 5,700. He's $800 more on DraftKings with a 19% usage rate. Marcus Smart, he's so iffy, man. 
26, 26, and 25 fantasy points last three games. If you want to go to the direction of Marcus Smart, he's playing just around 32 minutes a game. But a guy I got who I have some exposure to is 4,500 Gary Harris, man. Um, he's four hundred dollars cheaper on DraftKings at forty five hundred. Need around twenty fantasy points is four point four times value with a fifteen percent usage rate. Getting around thirty minutes a game. Definitely like Gary Harris. He's back. He played good defense. He really don't do much. Shoot three. He sh- um, if he open, he sh- um, knock down a few threes. And that's about it. I would recommend you guys throwing your lineup because um, you got guys like Norman Powell. He's a hit Norman Powell, Tory Curry, Landry Shaman. If you want to go get some stars in your lineup, only one I would recommend you to go with would be Norman Powell and Tory Craig, and that's about it. Because Landry Shaman didn't even play last game, and that's about it. At the small forward position, top dog, you got Kawhi Leonard. Um, he's three hundred dollars cheap on DraftKings. Uh, at 10,600, um, he's projected to get 49 fantasy points, 4.7 times value, with a 33% usage rate. Last three games, he averaged 43 fantasy points going against Denver. Um, definitely like um, on Kawhi Leonard the claw, man. I feel like, you know, he was terrible last game. He went like 6 to six for 14 from the floor. Um, I don't see that happening again, so I definitely will recommend throwing um, Kawhi Leonard in your lineup. He's a must play. And after that, you got 7,700. Jalen Brown, he didn't have he had a bad game last game. Also, um, he averaging averaging just around 30, um, three fantasy points a game right now. He's 200 dollars cheap on DraftKings. You can go that direction if you want to spin up a quality and go get it. You'll get Jalen Brown. And another guy I definitely like um, OG Anobi. Uh, he three hundred dollars cheap on DraftKings. You want to go that direction with him, averaging just around on um, twenty four point two fantasy points a game. Last three games, twenty two, forty, and thirty. Um, he got a fourteen percent usage rate. And um, and the other guy, Jeremy Jeremy Grant, he's averaging just around um twenty one fantasy points a game. He's two hundred dollars more on DraftKings, so definitely like the FanDuel price for him. Solid defender. I definitely like him tomorrow. And that's about it at the small forward position. Definitely going to have Kawhi Leonard. And granted, my lineup look got around 14,000 left. Though I'm playing with, with salary wise. Um, Jason Tatum at, at 9,400. I just ain't been playing Jason Tatum. I just feel like, you know, he going to have to, the, um, the hit value for their um, points. He's just in around like probably like 45 fantasy points. That's like 5x. He's $100 cheap on DraftKings. Um, last three games going against Toronto, he's averaging 41 fantasy points. I'm probably not going to have no exposure to him. Maybe a few lineups. I might have a few of them in there, but not that much. And um, Serge Ibaka is playing pretty good, man. He get the Paul Gasol minutes. Paul Gasol is washed up, man. He's terrible. Um, Mark, um, Serge Ibaka is $200 cheap on DraftKings. Um, he's averaging just around um, 30, 22 minutes a game. He's playing pretty good, man. I definitely like Serge. Um, he's aggressive. He's dunking, rebounding, blocking shots, doing everything. Um, if he can just give you around um, 28 fantasy points, 4.7 times value, I definitely like the price tag. And um, Daniel Theis, he's $200 cheap on DraftKings. He's averaging just around 24 fantasy points a game. Uh, he need around 25 fantasy points tomorrow. It's 4.5 times value with a 15% usage rate. Um, I definitely like him. He play around 24 minutes a game. Do not see wrong with him. Um, another play I like is Paul Millsap. 4,900. He's $200 cheap on DraftKings. Paul Millsap is playing pretty good, man. Averaging for the series so far, 23.9 fantasy points a game. 20% usage rate. The first series against Utah, he didn't play that many minutes, but now they need him. They had like a lot of Michael Porter exposure, but like, you know, they're going against a grown man team. Paul um, Millsap is a veteran. He's getting good minutes, and he's playing pretty good. And um, the cheapest guy I will go to, 3,900, Jermichael Green. I like the matchup. He's 300 cheap on DraftKings. Um, he's averaging just around um, 17 fantasy points a game, 14% usage rate. Um, you know, if he can get you around 14 fantasy points, that's 3.7 times value. Um, yeah, you got to have a sleeper like him. I definitely like Jermichael Green for tomorrow. Jermichael Green will throw him in there, man. I'm just trying to be a little different. You got around 58 fantasy points left. 
for center wise. Um, the center you got Nicole Jokic. Um, he's the highest center, ninety four hundred. He's three hundred dollars more on DraftKings with twenty seven percent usage rate. If you want to spin up for him, he's averaging forty three fantasy points a game. I just feel like you know. Doc Rivers is a good coach. I feel like Doc Rivers will take him out the game, have a better game plan for him next game. He spaced the floor. He's not that fast. He said in, um, in the interview, he said he's not that fast, have a hard time getting back up down the court. You know, he just do his thing. And also, um, you do got Montrez Harrell. He's $700 cheap on DraftKings. You want to throw him in a few lineups. Um, he's averaging just around 33.3, two fancy points a game. <laughs> Um, he hadn't played a lot of minutes in this series. He's gonna spin on for him, but I'm definitely in the center. I definitely like tomorrow. I like Zubac at five thousand, probably my favorite center. And um, you got Marcus All. He's there. Marcus All is not productive. He's not the Marcus All that was in Memphis. Um, he's averaging just around um twenty three point six fantasy points a game. <sighs> he's the same price on DraftKings as FanDuel. This guy, he's not the same Marcus All. He fouled out. And um, you always got 4,000 Robert Williams, man. Um, he's $200 cheap on DraftKings, this guy. Just to get around. See, I always get about 17, 18 fantasy points a game and play just around like 13 minutes a game. He don't get that many minutes. It's, it's a dark throw. You don't throw him in there. And if I did go any cheaper, it's 3,700 GPP dart, Mason Plumley. He's averaging just around um, – 19.3 fantasy points a game. He's $400 cheap on DraftKings. And, yeah, man, that's about it for the plays. I'm definitely going to go Zubek in my lineup. Um, if you want to go the direction of Zubek, it's, it's a lot of good options, man. A lot of good options. See, um, I had um, Paul Mills out, but you definitely go switch it up with Daniel Tice. You have $100 left. And this is a core that I'm rocking with tomorrow, man. A few of my lineups, man. At the end of the day, this is your boy, Ron, back with DFS Greatness. You like the content? You like what you see? Subscribe to my channel. Like my page, man. You can follow me on Twitter at DFS Greatness on Twitter, man. And um, you hit the comment section. Write some comments about your favorite plays and who you like. And um, Good luck, everyone. Until next time I'm out, let's get to it.